Hello everyone, this is Aerophone playing Zeta's World. Last time we beat the game, sort of. There is definitely more to it, and there were also some curious names on the high score list that I'm wondering if they do anything if you enter them on a new game. So I'm going to try typing in these. Uh, first one was capsized. Okay, this is just the normal opening. And nothing looks unusual so far. So I'll head out to the main game screen, or the main map, and see if I see anything there. Although perhaps you need to type them in while playing. That would also make some sense. I'm still not seeing anything out of the ordinary. Oh hey, the moonwalking trick still works. You hold left and then press right. So that's neat. Anyway. So I type in that in, then cap sized. Oop, it's a code. The world is now upside down. Which, come to think of it, could help you in the some of the tower stages. So the second one was backwards, backwards. So draw the cab. Okay, it's entering cap size again. Cap size. Yeah, this doesn't visually do anything, but the controls are now reversed. Draw cab. That puts it back to normal. Nocturne. Okay. And that kazoo, we can also turn that off if it's already on, so. Travolta is the disco lights. I am lagged. Okay, the lagging camera. That makes sense. And yes, that can kill you. Which I thought it could. Uh, is it back to normal? I think it is. Yes. Let's see. HDW rules. Is the mostly invisible. If you look closely, you can still see a vague hint of yourself, just like in the invisible level. Uh, monolith. Did I enter it wrong? Let's try that again. M O N O L I T H. Huh. Maybe that's not the code after all? Anyway. I think I read it down correctly. Not sure what that would do. Maybe the increased gravity. Anyway, let's try the Apollo 13 then. It's not low gravity exactly, but it is slow fall, which could definitely come in handy in some places. Actually, maybe that's what the monolith did. Oh, now I have it working. Yep. Small jump. Uh, turn it back off, and... Oh, no, it didn't turn off. Weird. By Paul 13 again. Anyway. Those were codes, as I suspected. 
and they should be ridiculously helpful in the Nightmare level. So, yeah, let's go try that out then. Oh, right, I haven't cleared the stage on this file, so it's... Alright, there will be the flashing lights in this. I'm going to try to turn it off as soon as I go in, but in case that doesn't work, be careful. Okay. Travolta. Yes, that turned it off. Nocturne. That turned that off. Uh, capsized. We are no longer upside down. I'll draw. Uh, uh, left and right are no longer reversed. Okay, this does not have the lagging camera, so that doesn't need to be turned off. Uh, what was invisible? HTW rules. There. Now I can see myself. Background is not flashing horribly. I can see around me. This makes this level much less evil. You can see the exit over there. I cannot get to it from here. That much I do remember. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything to make the box up here. So, that's one thing we're going to have to do manually. Notice all those buzz saws around the exit. Even if they seem to be drawn in chalk, they do still hurt you. And you need to drop down from somewhere way up there to get to it. Also notice there are two Zs. I think they even both work. But you can't normally see them both that easily. Like, without the turning off the shallow camera, well, I guess you could see this one. Maybe it's just to indicate that there is a Z in the level. But yeah, imagine doing this level with all the nasty effects turned on. The upside-down camera, the, yeah, the upside-down display, the reverse controls, the flashing lights, uh, the small visibility area. Yep, there's another Z up there. Yeah, and I'm pausing. There are no coins or gems. Now, there was something to the right down there. I think that might be how you get down to the one Z. So I think I remember doing that in Zeus's world. But no, this is a failure state in case you fall off from the things above here. So I'll just go as far as I can. Pretty sure there are no pits until... Eh, another Z. Yeah, until much later in the level. Let's try to make as much visible as possible. platforms up there, you cannot see them until you hit them. And you might as well hit them from down here so that you can see what you're doing while you're platforming. Again, imagine doing this with all the effects in place, especially the flashing lights and invisibility. Not exactly friendly. So we come across here. Yeah, I keep seeing Z's everywhere. Yeah. I wasn't holding right. It's not a difficult jump. Yeah, the first ones, first two are just fake drops, but after that, 
you do actually need to worry about falling down. I'm still going to do slow here, but yeah, of course you can't get to that. Yeah, there were definitely not this many Zs in the Zeus's World version. At this point, it's just taunting you. Okay. Alright, this I'm pretty sure just zigs back and forth. Zigs and zags. It is kind of neat to be able to see more of what's going on, though. And not have my eyes hurt from looking at it. Now, this is another nice thing I've noticed in Zeta's world that I'm pretty sure was not in Zeus's world, is if you walk across the one tile gap, you just walk across it. You don't have to jump or anything, you just keep walking. Alright, this was because the ceiling is there. The gap in the ceiling indicates there's about to be a gap in the floor. So it's kind of an advance warning. Although you can still feel your way along the floor normally if you want to. Yeah. Alright, we need to, need to redo that. Yeah, that you can just walk down. And again, with the um, physics being different here, you can just walk across those one bio gaps and be fine. Right, I think this is how you got to the one Z. Let's come out this way, but be careful. Yes, this feels familiar. And down here is a Z. And that is the Dystopia Z, which goes in the middle of the display. I think there are walls at the bottom of this, but not along this part, so you don't want to go too far out to the side. Anyway, you need to keep going to the left. The exit is over there somewhere, where you need to fall through the uh, mess of razors. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot you were coming through this part, not up there part, so... Okay, there's a series of things here. So you need to just keep going to the left, basically. And I think you might have been able to get to the 1Z up there, but any 1Z is good enough to count. That opens the exit. That's 100% because there are no coins or gems. And this takes us out to... Okay, it is still called Sunspot. That's dramatic music. We have this diagram here, which is simplified versions of all the worlds, basically. It should be Grasslands, which I don't have the Z for, Mountain View Aquaria, which I don't have the Z for, uh, Beach... Yep. Beach, Rainforest, Desert, then the Autumn Levels, Tree Houses, Earth Grotto, Metropolis, 
And the wind turtles, icy cap, graveyard, and death cliff. And then the tower in the middle. So this corresponds to your Z's. As I mentioned, I don't have the Aquarius Z because I haven't actually unlocked the level where it is. And I don't have the Grassland Z because I skipped that on purpose to make sure that I wouldn't have them all. Because here, I don't have that Z. And this is an impassable barrier. You need the Z to move it. And to exit, you have to die. So, back into the tower, and we have more stuff to unlock. So, let's start with Grassland Castle, which is where the Grassland Z is. I'm also going to try to get all the coins and gems if I can. Yeah, the block up there helps block the slime in. Might as well grab that, too. Oh, there's an invisible thing here. That's just a one-up. That's a coin. Ah, uh, here. Did you want to take the top? I don't remember. I'm not sure it matters. But you don't want to pop that because it gives the slime a shortcut. Let's pause. I'm missing a gem still. Ah, oh, there it is. Anyway, this tells you don't go up here. Ignore it and go up here anyway. The block disappears, a Z appears. And that is the Grassland Z and 100% completion of Grassland's Castle. Now the problem is Aquaria. Because the Aquaria Z was in the Aquaria Secret which was out the secret exit of Aquaria 2. Let's see if time attack makes a difference. I doubt it, but... Yeah, that didn't help. I'm going to try to rush through here. I don't think that's good enough. So I'm taking hits everywhere, and I don't have hearts because time attack removes access to items. Almost, come on. There, that worked. Okay, so you can do it without Chaos Runner. That's good to know. And that opens the secret exit to Aquarius Secret. Uh, but for now, I think just getting through the nightmare stage, even with the nightmare effects turned off, was enough for one session. So for now, this has been Herifelon playing Zeta's World. Come back next time, we'll go into Aquarius Secret, try and clear this out, get the Z from here, or go back into Sunspot. And now that I know there are actual codes to enable things, I'll check back and see if I can maybe get some hints from Chaos Runner's dialogue to see if maybe there was something in there that would tell you how to activate it. Or maybe it's just not a thing that activates in this game. Hard to say. Anyway, try that later. <laughs>